<laughs> I know, it's crazy. So, uh, how would you describe season two? Is it a game changer overall, or what is yeah, it? Yeah, you know, I think the first season of the show was about the epidemiology of people turning into vampires, and people like, no, they can't be turning into vampires. That's not possible. The second season, everybody's pretty aware that these vampires exist, and now the question is, what are we going to do about it? And the second season really explores the different ways that our main characters confront this vampire apocalypse, whether it's Corey Stoll and me and Maestro's character trying to use their knowledge of epidemiology to engineer a way to kill the vampires off, or David Bradley, who takes a more mythological approach and is trying to hunt down the Aceto Lumen, this mysterious book that may or may not hold the key to how to kill the master and the vampires, to Thad and Gus, who are just trying to kill as many vampires as possible. What can you tell us about the ancients? The ancients are, uh, you know, really interesting. You know, it, it, they are obviously, you know, very old and very powerful, and it's clear that there was some sort of rift in which, uh, which led to the master sort of separating away from them. And um, the the really interesting story is how much can one trust the ancients? Because right now the ancients are sort of allied with some of our human characters to try to stop this vampire apocalypse, but then again, they are vampires themselves, too, so, you know, maybe not the most trustworthy people. Are there other new characters you can tease? Yeah, you know, Samantha Mathis comes on the show this year, and she plays a councilwoman from Staten Island uh, named Justine Feraldo, who basically takes matters into her own hands and basically um, manages to get all the vampires off out of Staten Island, which leads to you know, people really wanting to promote her. And I think what's interesting is the, the idea that in a crisis, people will kind of abrogate their rights to someone, you know, who may have totalitarian instincts if they believe that that person is going to provide them with safety. And so the show's sort of exploring that moral issue, and we're watching the arc of this character who's really, her intention is just to do good, but finds herself actually getting increasingly more and more power and finds herself in conflict with other characters as she does. Is it hard to balance all these characters that you have going and make sure that you're covering each one enough yes. that we're still connected to them? It is. I mean, although um, I had a similar uh, problem on Lost, so I, uh, I am kind of used to, we had 16 series regulars on Lost. So, you know, one of the things that you do is you start to learn to juggle um, you know, not to try to do every care service, every character in every show, it's not possible. So I think like Lost, the show is, you know, their, their characters kind of step forward for an episode and then maybe proceed into the background. And I think it's the only way to not feel like it's just too diluted, you know, to be trying to service everybody in every episode. Thank you very much. I'm going to do one more, though. One more okay. question. Right. What, what, you got one more? Somebody else got one more? Uh, last Better? season, we yeah. saw the light bomb, which was great. And this season, we've seen the silver grenade. Are we going to see any other weapons like that that they're going to use against the vampires? Um, well, obviously, you know, F and Nora are trying to engineer a biological weapon, and that storyline carries over a bunch of episodes. And so I think one of the interesting storylines is can they come up with something that can wipe out these vampires or a significant swath of them? And that's, you know, it's not as exciting as a bomb going off, but it's very much, it's a cool inversion of their knowledge base, right? These, they are, you know, scientists have been trained to wipe out you know, epidemics, and now they're trying to create one. So that's, I think that's a fun storyline that plays out across the season. Story is so short.